so I'm just going to show you how to make a simple edit so you get open photo pad and you're going to make a file and you're going to press new and then you're going to press ok and it'll come with a new file and I don't want this file so I have this one and then you're going to get an image so I'm going to make an edit on uh, Westbrook so you're just going to go copy image and after you do your copy image you're just going to come back to photo pad press control V or just paste it back in and you get the image of Westbrook and then you're going to go over to edit here then crop and then you're going to crop out the exact amount of the Westbrook photo that you want or any photo that you're doing so I want about that much yep so let's crop and then you just press the apply over here so there's a bit of white here but that will be getting rid of later and then you're just going to Actually, we'll just see if we can crop that out real quick. We'll just crop this out real quick so I don't have to do it later, actually. Make it a bit easier. So I don't really need that much, just need about that. We'll apply. So there's the photo. No white spaces around the edges. And that's what I want. And then I'm going to go back to Google, go to Images. And I want the background to have lightning so it looks cool. So we're just going to copy the lightning image. And we're going to come back to PhotoPad. Press Control V again and then the lightning will come up I'm gonna make this really big so it covers the whole image and I'm gonna find a bit of lightning that I want so I want the city to be sort of down there and lightning like that and once you've put that image in there it will come up over here as overlay image and you gotta go down here to opacity and you gotta bring it down a bit to wherever you feel like it looks the best so I'll put it down to 80 for now you can sort of see that, but I don't reckon that's good enough, so let's bring it up to about 110. Okay, 110 is not too bad. So, there we are, it's on 110, it's got the lining through, it looks pretty cool, it's got the city line down there on the on the court. And I'm going to add some text, I'm just going to put it in Westbrook, so you got to go to Tools, Text, and a text box will come up, so West uh, Brook. So you got Westbrook. I'm going to highlight that, highlight it, put in bold, actually I won't put it in bold because it takes up, actually I can put it in bold, I'll stretch it out, put it in bold, change the colour, so you're just going to press on the black thing here, I would like it to be a blue, actually I'll make it, I'll put it down to a pinkish purple, I'll put it purple, and i press OK, to make it look a bit cooler, put it on the side, and then you got to think where do you want the image, the wording, so I'm going to put the wording down to the bottom near his feet area, so you've got the wording here. So then that's how you create the whole image, so that's like a nice image, but if you want to get it like onto your phone, to post it on Instagram or something like that, you're just going to come over to your search bar here, and if you haven't already, you're going to have to download a uh, light shot, light shot's a screenshotting thing, so you just screenshot it and you drag out the area that you want, so you drag out the exact image that you want, so just make sure it's all perfect, yep you're just going to press save I'm going to save it under west, because I know it's Westbrook save it to there, save and then that will be in there, and you've got to come to Google this is what I do, I go onto my second email and I email it to a spare email that I have which is linked to my phone, so you press on the image why you've got it on your email and then you're just going to press send ok so that's going to be sent to my phone straight away and that's how you make it and send it to yourself see ya